While David Gravel was padding his point lead, Buddy Kofoid continued to impress during Thursday's World Finals A main. We discuss it on today's edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9. Before we get into it, if you like our YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also check out our daily exclusive content at www.sprintcarunlimited.com. On Wednesday, I said Gravel's first World of Outlaws title was just short of a lock. On Thursday, the big game motorsports ace put it away, albeit not officially. All he has to do is finish 19th, and that is if Carson Macedo wins the main event. But I wanted to focus on Buddy Kofoid for a minute. He charged from 8th to 2nd on Thursday night at a track he has struggled at in the past. And it got me thinking, is this the best rookie season in World of Outlaws history? Like Gravel, it's a lock. A total of 15 drivers have captured a victory during their Rookie of the Year campaigns. The best of the group was Brad Sweet in 2014 with five wins and Carson Macedo's four-win season in 2019. As for Kofoid, he stands at seven, and the way he looked Thursday night, he could easily make it eight. Kofoid has been consistent, recording 31 top five finishes and 52 top tens in 63 World of Outlaws main events. He is assured a fourth-place finish in the point standings, tying him with Jeff Swindell in 1981, Brad Doty in 1982, and Gio Selzy a year ago as the highest finish in the point standings by a Rookie of the Year winner. Throw in $433,000 in earnings, and Kofoid has shown that he belongs among the best drivers in the sport. And who knows, with Gravel and Kofoid returning to the World of Outlaws next year, these two drivers could be battling for a championship during the World Finals in 2025. That's a wrap on today's edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back Monday. Stay tuned.